In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to short sell cryptocurrency. I'm going to be taking out a short position on a digital asset and betting that the value of that asset goes down in price. I'm going to be using a centralized exchange for this. I'll be using FTX, but you can also use Binance or any other exchange that offers perpetual future contracts. Okay, so this is the main FTX site. We have the Bitcoin perp here. And I've already got a short positions open in SHIB and Doge. These have had a really big run up recently. If we go into the SHIB chart. So this is the Shiba Inu chart. This is a token, which is a little bit like Doge. It's kind of a meme token. It had a massive run up from the 24th of October. Today, we are on the 28th of October. It's had a little bit of a drop followed by a complacency bounce. I originally short sold the first sign of weakness on that complacency bounce. And I'm gonna to add to our position now. I'm actually gonna to add to the Doge position. So we've short sold Doge and Shib. So in this position, we're using a sub account, uh, S10 up here, which is basically a way to isolate some funds so that the, the risk is only based on them funds and not the entire account. We've got $35 of collateral here, and I'm gonna to add to my short position. So to do this, we're gonna to go to sell Doge. We've got a limit order here, so we're gonna take a market price. I'm gonna put post only, so I don't want this to actually execute a taker order. We wanna be the market maker here to reduce fees. And let's add another 50% of our account balance. This includes up to 10x leverage. We're currently at 5x leverage. So this is a really high risk short term strategy. Let's update the price and then put that through. And we can see we've got a sell order in the book. I think that's completed already. It has our notional sizes increase and the volume of our trade. We can see we've got this little arrow here as well which means that we increase the size of our short position. So we've basically taken a bet out that the price of Doge is gonna go down between when we take out this position and when we close it. So to close this position, we would need to buy back the tokens or the futures contracts that we've short sold. So we can leave this now for a few hours. I'm expecting a slight reversal of this big run up and we let the markets play out. We've got a P&L of roughly just over $10 and our total collateral is just under $35. So let's come back in a few hours. It'll give us time to talk a little bit about shorting strategies. So there's a couple of short selling strategies I think most people should know about, even if you're not actively trading, that it pays to understand how these work so that you can get a better understanding of how the market dynamics work around these levels. The first is a complacency bounce, which is what we're looking at here. It's after a big run up, we kind of, we wanna take a short position on the failure to make a new higher high. If we get a lower high, we can essentially short that, expecting a higher time frame market reversal. The second strategy, which I think is more interesting and more compelling, is to try and get shorts in before a liquidation cascade. I think this works better with a quant trading system, with trading bots, because you use a lot of the exchange API data, both price, volume, and they also give data about the liquidations that are taking place to predict when liquidations are gonna cause more liquidations, and you get that cascading effect and deep wicks into the order book. As a rough rule of thumb, the default on most exchanges is 10x leverage, and that's what a lot of people use. With a standard 3% margin requirement, this means that the liquidation price is about 11.5% off the open price or the mark price. So if you see a failed breakout or a market environment where there's been a lot of people get into long positions and the price has started to pull back to over kind of 10% of where then traders took out positions, then that's where you're gonna start seeing liquidations. Stop losses work in a similar way where if there's an area where a lot of stops can be placed, it's quite common in crypto markets to see wicks into there to take liquidity, kind of the stop hunting type strategy. Crypto markets tend to trend higher in an up only manner, which means it's really important to have strong risk management in place when taking out short positions. We've already spoken a little bit about separating funds into an individual sub account so that they're isolated from your main account and used only for this purpose. We can also do things like set stop losses and take profit levels to further quantitize our risk and reward when setting up a trade. FTX has a really good way of doing this. You can actually do it when you're set placing an order. If you click this little calculator over here, we can either we can place a market order, we can set a percentage or set price of gain and loss. So we can like calculate our risk and reward right there. And if we just increase this to an amount, you see these, these variables are inputted dynamically and all them orders will go into the order book at the same time so that we have a set amount of risk that we're taking on that trade. You can see with this individual trade, we've got a stop loss. If it gets hit at 2% under the mark price, then 
we're going to lose 0.27 US dollars. Bear in mind that with larger orders, you're actually executing a market order with a stop loss and this will eat into the order book, which could see more slippage. And this is really an estimate rather than a guaranteed price. A few hours later, and we're up about 10% on our positions. So let's go ahead and close these out. So to close our short positions, we need to actually buy back the tokens or the futures contracts that we short sold. So let's go to buy Doge. I'm gonna click close position here. And this is gonna uh, check reduce only. So it's actually gonna reduce our position rather than going long. Put in a market price and buy them back. Let's do the same for Shiba Inu. Buy Shiba, close position, post only. Select the market price. And wait for that trade to execute. You can see we're using limit orders rather than market orders to get this through to reduce trading fees. We've closed our account at just under $40. We've got a $5 profit there. So there's a quick demonstration of how to short sell cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange such as FTX. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. And short selling cryptocurrency, which is one of the best performing assets of a generation, is a very speculative and high risk trade. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe for updates and to learn more about crypto markets and blockchain development. Thank you for watching.